In my adult years, over the course of time, um, uh, I was married a total of three times. I have three failed marriages. Through all of the wild times that I engaged in and all of the me living, which I had done, um, uh, there was something I always wanted, which was a family. Um, and I just assumed, like everything in my life, it was just eventually going to happen. Having kind of resolved myself to something being so important um, and me thinking that that wasn't in the cards, it was a miracle upon miracles. It was just unbelievable when Jake entered the world and then two years later, Kayla. November 21st, 2010, at 1.05 p.m. on a sunny California day, um, I buckled my kids into car seats and the rental car that their mother and her parents were going to take to the airport to leave. Um, uh, her parents were from Wilmington, North Carolina. I was non-functioning from that moment on. I was the walking dead. I, I, was, I was devastated. I was a shell. I was, I was non-functioning and non-existent. When I came to North Carolina, I knew that this was a step of faith and came to the conclusion, well, faith is a God thing, and so maybe I'd better start talking to God. Maybe I'd better start praying. Um, and I did. It was the first time that I'm aware of in my life where I prayed to God, uh, not to my spiritual flavor of the month, and there had been a bunch of them, uh, but, but to God. Uh, the God that I knew in some way was kind of driving me across the country and who I was counting on uh, to be the father that I wanted to be for my children. Through all of these miracles and all of this growth and all of this um, uh, relationship with God, life still happens. All of a sudden I found myself looking for another job and about that time uh, there were some medical challenges with my kids and for a period of about a year and a half I was experiencing anywhere between three and six hundred dollars of unbudgeted medical expenses per month. There was a Sunday evening after another difficult Sunday where I just cried out, God, where do you want me to be? What do you want me to do? I can't take this anymore. What do I do? And God spoke to me that night and said, you need to talk to Jack Tichy. So I reached out to him and said, Jack, um, I've had a rough go of it, but is there any way that I can plug in? Am I allowed to plug in anywhere? Jack suggested I join Financial Peace University. So I somehow arranged my schedule to be available on Tuesdays. I started coming for Financial Peace University. That thing was anything but financial peace for me. Every mistake you can make with money, I have done it three times, if not more. And Dave Ramsey was up there every week just cracking jokes about me. Uh, and then I would walk away and I would just condemn myself and beat myself up over and over again. But I met people. Uh, and Jason Baisden had, had stepped in as the leader of our table um, and he encouraged me through my pain and my agony. Um, and then, thank the Lord, it ended. Financial peace came to a close. Um, but with that, my small group. And it was a couple weeks after that that I got an email from Randy Dallas. And he invited me to join his small group, which was also on Tuesdays. It was about to start up. It was the Freedom Group. I didn't know what the Freedom Group was. Uh, but if Randy invited me and if my schedule allowed it, it's like I'm there. And so I plugged in. I plugged into a small group, six of us, um, in a room. And we engaged in the Freedom Curriculum. I was in this incomplete place. I was in this still desperate place. My heart was dying for something to be different. I'd had a period of time where I'd walked with the Lord. I'd accepted Jesus Christ. I'd experienced the miracles that pour down on us every single day. I was appreciative and grateful for that. Um, and there was this thing I needed and I did not know what it was. Uh, but 12 weeks after I started the small group, God had told me what it was and it was connecting with that small group. Uh, make no mistake, it wasn't the small group that changed me. It wasn't even the curriculum which helped bring about that change. It was the experience and it was my heart needing God to step in. And the small group gave me that platform, that opportunity, and the freedom curriculum gave me that uh, focus, that organization. 
I was changed. I don't have the words to describe this, um, but I was different. I felt a peace. I felt a lightness. I felt a comfort. I felt a joy that I've never experienced in 55 years walking this earth. The incomplete was no more. The incomplete was no more. It had been there and now it wasn't. It was gone. Since then, life continues to be life. And I've had some rugged days and some rugged periods. I'm different. And those challenges and those pains are just that. They are challenges and pains. And I recognize the lies of condemnation that the enemy wants me to wrap into whatever I'm going through. And, and I hang on to the full armor of God. But I'm different. God has made me different. There was the salvation that came through Jesus. And then there was the freedom. I literally walked from a lifetime of fallen, but now, after five years at Life Point and in my involvement with the Freedom Group, I truly felt and do feel free, and it's real. And if I can experience this, you can experience this.